The Brooklyn native also appeared in the original Broadway production of A Raisin in the Sun and wrote a song with folk legend Richie Havens. Louis Gosset Jr., the tough guy with a sensitive side, who won an Oscar for his portrayal of a steely sergeant in An Officer and a Gentleman and an Emmy for his performance as a compassionate slave in the landmark miniseries Roots, has died. He was 87. In a statement obtained by The Hollywood Reporter, his family said, It is with our heartfelt regret to confirm our beloved father passed away this morning. We would like to thank everyone for their condolences at this time. Please respect the family's privacy during this difficult time. Gossett's first cousin, Neil L. Gossett told the Associated Press that the actor died in Santa Monica. The cause of death is unknown, but Gossett announced in 2010 that he had prostate cancer. With his sleek, bald pate and athlete's physique, Gossett was intimidating in a wide array of no-nonsense roles, most notably in Taylor Hackford's Officer and a Gentleman, 1982. Whereas Goonery Sergeant Emil Foley, he rides Richard Gere's character mercilessly, but for his own good, at an officer candidate school and gets into a memorable martial arts fight. He was the second black man to win an acting Oscar, following Sidney Poitier in 1964. For the role, the six foot four Gosset trained for 30 days at the Marine Corps Recruitment Division, an adjunct of Camp Pendleton north of San Diego. I knew I had to put myself through at least some degree of this all-encompassing transformation, Gosset wrote in his 2010 biography, An Actor and a Gentleman. Douglas Day Stewart's original script called for Jerry's Zach Mayo to beat up Foley. The Marines changed it, Gosset recalled in a 2010 interview. They said that an enlisted man would never beat up a drill sergeant. We'll tear the place up unless you change it. They said, if you don't do this well, Mr. Gossett, we're going to have to kill you. The Brooklyn native capitalized on this hard-ass image in such action films as The Punisher, 1989, opposite Dolph Lundgren, and Iron Eagle, 1986, and its three sequels. In the Iron Eagle series, he starred as Cole Charles Chappie Sinclair, a leader of dangerous rescue missions in threatening international locales. In 1959, Gossett played George Murchison in the original Broadway production of Lorraine Hansberry's domestic tragedy A Raisin in the Sun, then segued to Daniel Petrie's 1961 Columbia film adaptation, along with his stage co-stars Poitier and Ruby Dee, launching his career in Hollywood. It was his eloquent portrayal as Fiddler, an older slave who teaches a young Kunta Quinte, LeVar Burton, to speak English on the eight-part ABC miniseries Roots, that earned him his first significant dose of national recognition. Eighty-five percent of the U.S. population tuned in for at least a portion of Roots, and the finale drew more than 100 million viewers in January 1977. All the top African-American actors were asked, and I begged to be in there, Gossett once said. I got the best role, I think. It was wonderful. Gossett also starred in the critically acclaimed telefilm Sadat, 1983, in which he played the assassinated Egyptian leader, Sadat's widow, Jahan, personally chose him for the part, and he portrayed a baseball immortal in Don't Look Back, the story of Leroy Satchel, Page in a 1981 telefilm. During his 60-year-plus career, Gossett excelled in a number of non-stereotypical racial roles, playing a hospital chief of staff on the 1979 ABC series The Lazarus Syndrome and the title character Gideon Oliver, an anthropology professor, on a 1989 set of ABC mystery movies. He also appeared as the guardian of a 16-year-old alien, Peter Barton, on NBC's The Powers of Matthew Starr, as Jerrock, the first leader of the Free Jaffa Nation, on the sci-fi series Stargate SG-1, as Halle Berry's estranged father on CBS's Extant, and as former vigilante Will Reeves on HBO's Watchmen. That last one resulted in his eighth career Emmy nom. In 2006, Gossett founded the nonprofit Ericism Foundation, an all-out conscious offensive, to eradicate all forms of racism by providing programs that foster cultural diversity, historical enrichment, education, and anti-violence initiatives. In the 1966, he said he was pulled over by Beverly Hills cops and handcuffed to a palm tree for no reason. We better take care of ourselves and one another better, otherwise nobody's going to win anything, he said.